right. I'm not sure if we're live here yet, but we'll just give it a couple minutes, see if anybody tunes in. Surprise live stream. And um, we'll see how things go here. See if we see anybody coming along. All right, there's a few people. Okay. Um, I'm going to get started here. Just kind of wanted to do a follow up video to the thing I did about Robert Breaker and Gene Kim, a public challenge to them. Um, it went pretty much as I predicted it would go. Uh, there was, you know, this just the cult following comes along and, and attacking and attacking and everything else and trying to say it's fine to you know take money from the lost world to monetize secular things hi to both of you um there in the comments um you know saying that it's okay to monetize and take secular money and all this other stuff and have ads placed on there and you're you're making a living at that and whatever or you're getting money coming in i should say from that and it just kind of goes to show you the level of preaching and teaching that breaker and kim both do that they don't even teach their people enough separation standards from the world that they would say yeah we shouldn't be monetized yeah i would agree that's wrong I mean, you just go back in time and say, you know, what would have happened if you would have found out that Peter Ruckman was sponsored by Chevy Motor Corporation or Lester Roloff was sponsored by Colgate or something? You know, you'd say, hey, well, that's wrong. What? You know, it seems weird. But all now it's OK. And so but the real point I'm trying to make with this whole thing of Gene Kim and Robert Breaker, why do they have so many subscribers? No other King James only channel gets even close to these guys in terms of subscribers. I believe that they are faking their subscribers, right? And there's some, there's a lot of problems there. First of all, when it comes out eventually, and it will, that they are liars and that they're stealing ad revenue from companies that think that they're paying them because they have real legitimate, you know, viewers and subscribers. Um, then it's going to make the rest of us King James only guys look bad. I'm going to be showing a lot of other channels today. So that's a problem. And, uh, you know, why don't you go after heretics and things like that? Well, I do. But, you know, new version people, you know, James White types and all the other Joel Osteens and, and things like that. Absolutely, I do. But I'm supposed to also worry about people within my circle, so to speak, other Bible believers. And, you know, I have said some things against other Bible believing channels out there. We have disagreements. But I don't just, you know, I'm not going after them because I can look and I can see, okay, they're trying to do some work and whatever else. But Breaker and Kim, they just keep growing in their numbers. And I know for a fact that Robert Breaker is, has people that are artificially inflating his numbers, which is illegal. And you're stealing from the people who pay for ads being put on YouTube. Now, you know, if I came out and I said, hey, um, I'm a, I'm a real ladies man and, and I have, you know, 30 wives and you looked and there's my wife standing beside me, you know, Catherine, and there's, you know, 29 other mannequins standing there. You'd say, well, you're not a ladies man. They're not even real women. Well, if these guys are getting artificial intelligence spots and I'm going to show you that that's what you can do, you pay a little bit of money for it. I will show that in this video. If that's what these guys are doing, how can they feel good about themselves? How can their viewers feel good about them? You trust a preacher that's lying to you, that's artificially inflating his numbers to make himself look like he's great and big and everything? That's a problem. But here we have Acts chapter 8, verse 9. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery. And bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is the great power of God. Uh, you say, Well, who's doing that? Oh, I don't know. Some guy like this that uh, would actually have the nerve to put the top number one video on pre tribulation rapture you will ever see. Dr. Gene Kim, it's just recently here that he brought this whole thing up. I saw that thing come up. I thought, huh? The top number one video on pre-tribulation rapture you will ever see? I, the, the pride that this novice has is just unreal. Who, who makes a sermon like that? 
the top number one video. And people have sent me stuff from him, you know, things that he's saying, you know, you're lucky that I'm here. There's nobody else around like me and everything. Just a prideful little jerk. And these guys, him and Breaker, both preach false gospels, by the way. That's another thing. It's very bad, extremely bad about these guys. They're both Gnostics. That's just all up here. Mental assent to facts in the Bible. Um, I believe that I'm saved, therefore I'm saved. Boom, done. There's no calling upon the Lord. You don't ask God to save you. There's no changed life that comes afterwards and everything else. I mean, it's just very bad. But here's a video this guy did with his channel. Buying 100,000 YouTube subscribers, it worked. Well, somewhat it worked. He shows that they went up, but then YouTube deleted a bunch of them right in here. I won't bother playing the video and, and whatever else. But yes, there are websites that you can go to. And um, he shows this one here where it's talking about uh, YouTube, YouTube Service Pro, get fans. And you can buy, you know, you can buy subscribers. You can buy views. And, you know, oh, Robert Breaker, he just doesn't know any better about this stuff and whatever. Yeah, here's a video I did about him years ago and he literally says right here let me let me maximize this here um uh people were writing to him and they said so we greatly appreciate your following or, or allowing the ads because what we can do can now do is watch your videos on a loop and let them play all day long knowing that when the ads play they will give you some support and that is our way of donating to your ministry he just admitted that people are letting, they're playing things on a loop, letting them play over and over again. That way, it's more views. Um, that's illegal. YouTube doesn't allow anything that artificially increases the number of views, likes, comments, or other metrics, either by using automatic systems or serving up videos to unsuspecting viewers. Also, content that solely ex exists to incentivize viewers for engagement, views, likes, comments, etc., is prohibited. But he's doing that, and that's fine. And, I mean, my video, the thing about Robert Faker Breaker there, it's, it's so hard to even see where the, I don't remember when this thing came out, but it's been out for years. Been out for years. And he's still there. He's still growing. You know, it's crazy. Okay, I'll get back to that here in a minute. But this whole thing here. Let's look up some scriptures really quickly here about the thing of uh, faking numbers and whatever else. Leviticus chapter 19. I remember reading a thing years ago where Billy Graham was actually coming out and or, you know his evangelistic crusades that he was doing. And he was saying that, yes, you know, that, that somebody admitted within their organization, they said that... Um, when they have their big crusades that they actually pay actors to come forward to get saved to encourage other people. That's wrong. And then they, you know, report, oh, we got, you know, 20,000 saved or something. Yeah. How many of them were actors? See, this is just kind of the modern version of it. You have Breaker and Gene Kim are obviously inflating their numbers. Obviously. There's no way. I mean, today you're going to get half a million subscribers as a Bible believer. Please. But uh, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 35. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in meat yard, in weight, or in measure. Just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and a just hin shall ye have. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments and do them. I am the Lord. All right. You're supposed to have just, just measurements. Don't artificially inflate your numbers and things like that. If the Lord gives you 50,000 subscribers, 60,000 subscribers, great. Praise the Lord, whatever. That's fine. But if you're artificially inflating your numbers, which I just showed you the proof that that can be done very easily. And at the very least, they're saying that, you know, that the people are saying, oh, we're just going to let your videos play on the loop just nonstop to increase your view, view numbers. And that's why I said I'd like to see their silver play buttons. Show me that they actually have, truly have reached 100,000 legitimate, non-artificial intelligence subscribers. I mean, let me say it this way. Gene, Kim, Robert Breaker, who are you accountable to? 
I'm another Bible believing ministry. You're not accountable to me. I provided things honest in the sight of men. I have never used any kind of artificial intelligence bots or anything to raise my subscriber view ever. And I showed I'm not monetized. I don't take money from secular people to preach the word of God. And there's plenty of scripture too, by the way, about not taking money from lost people to do the Lord's work. Obviously, if you're taking money from lost people because you're working a secular job, well, duh, that's obvious. But if you're doing the Lord's work and you're taking money from secular people, I mean, I did a whole sermon on it. I'll show you another verse of scripture, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. Down there, the thing, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, what we were just talking about back there. But a just weight is his delight. Gene Kim and Robert Breaker have a false balance. Don't even tell me that they have that many subscribers. I did a video on Gene Kim back when I was watching his subscriber count going up. It was jumping up a couple hundred within minutes. No way. No way. It's not legitimate. These guys are both both false. And they I mean, think about the mindset here. Like I said earlier, they're there. Well, we're preaching the word and whatever else. And they know that they've artificially inflated their numbers. They know that they don't actually have half a million people. I mean, and these are the guys you want to hear in ministry. But um, let me just ask another question. Where are all the other huge King James only channels? I mean, here you have Sam Gipp, uh, certainly a world renowned King James only guy, been around a lot longer than Gene Kim and Robert Breaker, and a grad graduate of PBI, if you want to make that little connection there. 3.99 thousand subscribers, 4,000 subscribers. Shouldn't he have more than Gene Kim and Robert Breaker? If, you know, it's all about, hey, popular and whatever, you know, big name, well-known guys and things. Ex-Catholics for Christ. I can't find their subscriber count. Uh, I don't know where it's at or whatever else. But these guys, they've been around a long time. Joined in the, uh, July, or, uh, excuse me, June 11th, 2007. These guys have been on James and Patrick Patel. They've been on YouTube longer than I have. I joined in 2008, November of 2008. But these guys have been around longer than me. Where's their million subscribers or something like that? Um, I tried to find Dave Flang, David Flang, and this is uh, back in 2018. And it says here, you know, uh, David Flang, you're having a car conversation. And you go here to click on this, his thing, and it says this page isn't available. Um, I'm not sure I knew Dave. Can was you go having, ahead and start? That's his voice there, David Flang's voice at the beginning. I talked to him on the phone, wrote back and forth with him a bunch of times and, and things. Uh, he was one of the guys that was originally around on YouTube. I think he might have passed away. I don't know. If, if anybody knows in the comments, please let me know whatever happened to David Flang. He used to have a Berean, what was it called? Uh, Berean Beacon, I think, or something. I think is what David Flang's um, channel used to be. I can't find it anymore. Um, but I know he was in and out of the hospital with heart problems and things. Uh, I don't know if he passed away or not. I think he might have. But again, I don't know. If anybody could fill me in on that, that'd be great. Um, but uh, Edward Fenninger uh, certainly has some issues with me, and I have issues with him. Uh, 3.8 thousand subscribers. You know, this guy here, one of the guys that posts a lot of Peter Ruckman's, you know, videos, and he posts other stuff. and. And things too, 1.3 thousand subscribers. Another guy posts Ruckman stuff, 1.5 thousand subscribers. Chick Publications, world renowned Chick Publications, 27.7 thousand subscribers. I'm just, you know, again, followers of Gene Kim, followers of Robert Breaker. Why is there such a huge difference between those guys, your little idols, heroes, whatever, and other King James only guys? I'm not just saying about me, Chick Tracks, Sam Gipp, certainly much bigger, you know, ministries than I have. And yet, why? I don't understand. I'd like an answer to that. Uh, Micah, Micah Colston, 1.67.
thousand subscribers. Uh, you know, why is this guy getting so many viewers? You know, I just I find that to be a little bit a uh, little odd. Uh, maybe not as odd as having to have an umbrella held over top of you so the sun doesn't get on you while you're preaching. I I don't really know of too many preachers that uh, have to have have umbrellas to shield them from the sun. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of an odd thing. Um, you don't want sunlight getting on your skin there, Gene Kim. Uh, boy, that, that'd be bad. You know, I, you, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. You say, well, he has some kind of skin condition. Oh, then you might want to get that checked out. I think God made us to be out in the sunlight. You know, a little bit of a problem there if you, you know, can't get vitamin D you know, from the sun. But uh, another thing. Here you go to Rational Wiki. My good friends at Rational Wiki, these atheistic nuts. Let's type in Gene Kim. Did you mean gender Kim? Uh, there's nothing there on Gene Kim. Robert Breaker. Well, there's one, you know, it's me saying things against Robert Breaker. They put him in with King James only. So there you go. And then you type in Ryan Deminger. Might explode when I hit enter. <laughs> Boom, there you go. And it comes up with all this stuff just page after page after page attacking me and taking things out of context and personal stuff and just, you know, all the different things there. Just crazy. Uh, what's going on? Well, John chapter 15. John chapter 15. I've brought this point up before, but it's I still haven't gotten a really good answer to it. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Where's the hate for Robert Breaker and Gene Kim? Barely anybody ever exposes them. They never say anything negative about them. There's no atheist websites that I know of that are going after them. And there's plenty of material that you could go after them on. Some of the crazy clickbait stuff that Gene Kim comes out with. I mean, and Robert Breaker's failed prophecies over and over again. You know, and all the different things that Robert Breaker has said. Uh, you know, there are some that say that that uh, no man knoweth the day or the hour. I do not concur. You know, calling Jesus a liar, and Paul was a date setter, and Paul messed up and things as date setting. He's a blasphemer, and he preaches a false gospel. You know, but the lost world apparently loves him. I guess if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Give him half a million subscribers. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Where's the persecution at? Where are the atheist websites attacking Robert Breaker and Gene Kim? I mean, I, I have, what, 43,000 some subscribers, and I'm a serious threat to the atheistic community out there? Robert Breaker? 500 some thousand subscribers gene came over 300,000 subscribers and they're not even worried about them. why why it's the question i have there i'd like to have an answer to that but uh i just have to say something here because you know i saw this video uh the, he, robert breakers here he's going to split wood I, you know again trying to copy somebody there right you know breaker i can't imagine but uh you know i'm not even going to play the audio here he he's setting up a piece of wood first of all let me just explain something splitting firewood is extremely dangerous okay um chopping kindling i cut the a big chunk of my one finger off the one time um i've gotten hit really hard bad with the uh, pieces of wood when they fly when you split um i took a hookeroon and I went right through the side of my boot the one time uh, doing firewood. I mean, it's, it's very dangerous. And I don't want young men to watch this dork right here, this loser, and think that he actually knows what he's doing. Okay, he does something very dangerous in this video that I need to correct and just say, please, if you're a young man out there, I don't care if you hate me, whatever else, 
don't follow what this guy's doing. He's got some little scheme thing that he's doing here or whatever else to try himself, make himself look like me. I come out with videos splitting firewood, and then, oh, he's going to come out with a video splitting firewood too. And he's doing some really dangerous stuff. First and foremost, that is way too long as a piece of firewood. You know, I mean, if you're, if you have a really big stove, I guess you could, but it's also very small. You don't need to split that. But, you know, here we go uh, to, to show this one part here. And uh, he's explaining the right way to, to split firewood, uh, which he had, doesn't even know what he's talking about. And now he says, I think this is the one where he does it, where he says about how you take it over your shoulder and you flip it down like that. And he does he can't even split it. But um, if you take a piece of firewood and you go like this to split it, and that piece of firewood comes off and your little child is standing over about in here or something like that, that piece of firewood comes off, it's going to fly and it's going to hit that child. You don't ever do this. I mean, I have studied firewood splitting and I've seen it in other countries and things when I was there. Nobody, nobody splits it this way, right? It's terrible. They talk about dangerous. So please, if you're a young man out there and you're wanting to become an outdoorsman, don't watch this guy. I mean, you say, I, I need to see some proof. Okay, watch this, this girl here. She's actually showing the proper way to split with a double bed axe where you go down and you flick your wrist off to the side. She's got bare feet, you know, and everything. She's not going to chop herself because she knows what she's doing. It's straight grain wood, but, you know, it still is impressive. Watch what she does. See, she goes down at kind of an angle. Do you see her flipping the, the you know, grabbing the wood when it, and up over her shoulder and down or something? Of course not. Okay? Nobody split, hits in the thing and then flips it over their shoulder and brings it down. That is so dangerous. And if you really want to learn from a guy that knows how to split firewood, is a real expert at it, this guy here, don't agree with a lot of the stuff that he says, but when it comes to logging, tree felling, and splitting wood with axes, he doesn't even really use a maul. I like to use a splitting maul. Um, this guy right here is probably one of the greatest on YouTube. This guy's an expert timber, you know, you know, woodcutter and things. He can fell timber just wonderfully. I've seen some of his videos and things. Guy really knows what he's doing. But again, you're not going to see him sticking it in a piece of, of wood and flipping it over his shoulder and down. I mean, he has better sense than that. That thing that Breaker just did there, you know, where he's putting it up on his shoulder like that and then turning and flipping and down, very dangerous. And I, I saw that and I just cringed. I thought, oh, man, that is so bad. Um I mean, this guy shouldn't be teaching the Bible, and he definitely should not be trying to teach people how to split firewood. And then, and then, idiot boy goes back to where's the thing at where he's shown here. Uh, he's been going down. You know, that's not the up close there. Here he's here he's uh showing how that you can. You can uh, chop the roots of the trees that are sticking up, you know, so your lawnmower doesn't hit it or something. Again, you know, having studied forestry, been in, in logging, in and out of logging stuff and sold, you know, sold firewood and whatever. But I've read quite a few books on forestry. You don't chop the roots of trees, okay? No, you don't do that. Uh, it's a good way to kill the tree. And then the tree comes down and have a big storm. The tree comes down. I wonder what made it fall. You know, you don't do that. So I just had to throw that thing in there, you know. People send me stuff, you know, and I look at it and I think, oh, brother. But, you know, all I'm trying to do here, oh, you're jealous, you're this, come up with whatever you want. Followers of Gene Kim and Robert Breaker, I don't care. I'm just simply saying, how do these guys get so many subscribers? If they are artificially inflating their numbers, then they are violating YouTube policy. And YouTube, you, be, you better check into these guys because if you don't, 
you could get sued by the companies that are paying for ad revenue and these guys are ripping them off because they have fake subscribers. I can guarantee you that they have fake subscribers. And what should be done? The Gene Kim and Robert Breaker, quite frankly, I think their channels should be deleted because of their fake subscribers or at least bust them down to the real subscriber amount. And if they've taken uh, monetized you know, money and things for their videos, they should be required to pay it back. Plain and simple. I think that that's what needs to be done. And, you know, I think that it's very important that brethren start to pray against these false ministries. And again, one of the reasons I'm doing this whole video is because I'm trying to show people um, and make it very plain. Uh, this guy right here, I'm not part of this movement. All right. So the corruption and the wickedness and everything else. And, and have, when you have a novice like this that has that level of pride to say that he has the number one video on the Internet about the pre-trib rapture or whatever, he's eventually going to fall and he's going to fall hard. I will tell you that. I've seen it all throughout my life, going to Baptist churches. You know, I've seen these guys fall bad because of that level of pride right there. And so he's eventually going to fall. He's going to hurt a lot of people. Breaker's going to do the same. And I just want people to know, I am not part of their movement. These guys are frauds. They're fakes. They preach false gospels. They preach a lot of things. They sensationalize the word of God. They they peddle the word of God. They make it a profitable thing. And they're faking their subscriber counts. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. That's my challenge out there. That was what the whole challenge was about. Prove me wrong that you actually have that many real subscribers. Prove it. Okay? I don't think that you can. So... If anybody has any any uh, questions real quick, I can answer some questions about this subject. I don't want to go off on a bunch of other things. It's just these these guys are so vexing to me. I mean, they just totally misrepresent what Bible believers are about. You know, just lying. Again, why? Like I showed, it's not even about my channel. All the different channels, the King James only channels and things, guys using the King James Bible. <sighs> Okay, burden of proof lies on you, Brian. Um, how can I prove it if I don't access, have access to their accounts? I mean, didn't I just show the proof? Where are the subscribers for the other channels out there? Why does Gene Kim have more, you know, 300 plus thousand subscribers and Sam Gipp has, you know, just over 3,000 subscribers? <laughs> burden of proof lies with you. Okay. Uh, I'm asking a question. That's all, all that I'm doing. I'm just asking questions. I mean, who are these guys accountable to? Then, then just say that it might be happening rather than approaching it as, as a... Matter of fact, I think is what you're trying to say there. I'm just asking a question, okay? I, I mean, how do you get to that number without you know monetize or without uh, buying artificial views and and things like that, okay? I'm going to answer a lot of you people out there, you fans of them. You know, what is the point of this video? I thought I described that. Um. Didn't I just say that? There's there's Gene Kim and Robert Breaker are faking YouTube. They are doing things that are illegal, and they claim to be King James only. And I just want to make that point that these guys aren't King James only. That This is not the actions of Bible-believing Christians. I'm calling these guys out. I believe that they're both frauds. Question, you've done an excellent job exposing Stephen Anderson. Now he's fallen. Will you do a series of videos exposing them like you did Stephen Anderson? If it comes to it, if I have to, yeah, I might start digging into some of the stuff that these guys teach because I know that they're heretics. I already have taught, you know, Gene Kim came out years ago, used a uh, verse of scripture about pagan 
gods, plural, and applied it to the Godhead. I mean, trying to defend the Trinity thing. I mean, it's just insane. Maybe Gene Kim and Robert Breaker have more because they're teaching where a lot of channels are just being petty children whining about not having subscribers. Well, I actually do have subscribers. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, if you put all your faith in the blood, that's not the gospel, by the way. Okay. You're, uh, you need to get saved. It's very important. You can tell they possibly fake the subscribers because I see statistics here where they go from a few hundred or a thousand a month to suddenly 8,000 subscribers. Yeah, I showed that with Gene Kim. It was just boom, boom, boom. every couple minutes he's getting more subscribers. There aren't that many Bible believers in the world and there aren't that many people interested in the Bible. So. See your comment here. I'll just answer it. Question, are these guys Jesuit agents? No idea. No idea. Not anymore, you don't. I guess that means that you're leaving me and that you're not going to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh, I don't care. You know? I mean, again... Oh, you, you just have such an attitude towards people. You, you're just, you know, you don't want people around you. You just say leave if you don't like it. Uh, yeah, that's what Christian ministries do. Let them alone. They'd be blind leaders of the blind. People go away. The disciples left Jesus. People left Paul. Peter Ruckman, the guy that these guys, you know, the man that these Gene Kim and, and uh, Breaker supposedly followed and were, learned from. How many people left him over the years? You know? It's so, it's so weird. When Robert Breaker said, I do not concur with the word of God, that was the end of it for me. Yeah. Amen. Shouldn't that end it for most people? Shouldn't they say, whoa, okay, that's really bad. Gene Kim has put out some blasphemous titles and things just to get clickbait. I mean, this guy is just a, the master of clickbait. I mean, why, why, you know, he went to UC Berkeley supposedly after he got saved, after he got, you know, saved. Why would you go to Berkeley? It's a terrible school. It's a horrible place. Oh, to witness to people. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I just like to walk into adult bookstores to witness to people. Huh? No. You don't do that. So, does any are there any other supporters of of Robert Breaker or Gene Kim that would like to post a comment? I will put it up and uh, answer your questions. Go ahead. When I asked Robert Breaker about when Israel became a nation again, one of his followers attacked me for asking an honest question because in one video it was 1948, but in another it was 1947. Yeah, I brought that whole thing out years ago, and and you know, and he tried to get around it and just lied. You know, it became a nation in 1948. Just do a quick, simple little search on Google or any other type of thing out there, and you'll see that.
Robert promoted filthy movies like Cast a Giant Shadow about an adulterer fornicating with a Jewish feminist whore, saying it's about Israel and it's awesome. That was it for me, I think. Really, I didn't even know about that. So that's the thing. I think if the body of Christ starts to really, you know, turn our attention and say, okay, what all is this guy putting out that's, I mean, I don't even watch most of the stuff that these guys put out. I check on them occasionally to see, okay, what new blasphemy are these guys saying? Um, you know, and, but I think if we actually looked into what they're, you know, saying, I think it'd be very shocking. Question, Gene Kim also supposedly got his PhD in like two years. Yeah, you know, there's issues there. It's, you know, it's, is it even legitimate or whatever else? Um, if someone just clicks, does that count for them for money? I don't know. I'm not really sure how the whole thing works. Point taken, if they are faking the numbers, it's between them and God. I hadn't even heard of these guys until I watched your channel. I don't even listen to them. Don't get stressed with these people. Yeah, I understand. I understand the point. My issue with this is, it's just like Steven Anderson. They come out and they do these really radical things and weird stuff and preach these weird things. And then the media tries to lump Bible believers in with them. I mean, even this guy here, Gene Kim. It used to be BBC, Bible Believers Church International or something, BBC International. And then he came out and he changed it to real Bible believers, you know. I think it says, yeah, right there, real Bible believers. You know, like I'm not a Bible believer. You know, it's just, okay. So yeah. I'm not going to be spending a huge amount of time on this whole deal. It just, it vexes me because, you know, it just, I've said it already, you know, going over it. Um, question. In all honesty, I used to continue watching Robert Breaker's videos when you first brought up the issues with him, but slowly I started seeing questionable things with the man. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, and I mean, ultimately, again, that's it. You know, if the Holy Spirit is in you, you will start to say, uh, you know, I don't feel good about this guy or whatever else. And it's not just, you know, disagreements on a few little minor things or whatever. You'll start to get a weird feeling of, uh, there's something really wrong with this guy. Question. I know this is a bit unrelated, but please make more videos on James White. He is back at it again, attacking King James Version, the KJV Bible on almost every podcast sermon okay he's in my sights too um i might start doing more of that as well do you think robert breaker's new church building is going to have 501c3 for, as for me personally it wouldn't surprise me i didn't even know he had one no idea probably maybe he's going to take you know artificially inflate his numbers his subscriber count, disobeying the laws of YouTube, uh, then why wouldn't he be 501c3? Of course he would. I'm going to get told I'm not saved, but I watched a Gene Kim video back in August 2020 and I got saved. I've been through a long journey and the Lord led me to you. Thank you for teaching me so much. Um, no, I'm not going to say you're not saved. I don't know you personally. I don't know the whole situation there. Um, I'm not going to call you lost just because you've watched the guy or whatever else. I watched plenty of heretics in my past. Didn't mean I was lost or anything. I can see why a guy like Spencer Smith has a big channel, but Gene Kim and Breaker are not that appealing. I've never been into their content being a KJV guy myself. Yeah. Another point there. Uh, 
Okay. All right. I, I mean, if there's any other, you know, Robert Breaker, Gene Kim fans in the comments, I know you were there earlier. Please go ahead and write whatever you want. I'll give you a few more minutes here, and then I'll, I'm going to stop the live stream. Some other stuff to do today, but uh, you know, I just people have a tendency to go after channels that have huge subscriber bases and all that other stuff and that's very dangerous like i said um but you know if these guys i mean like i said if they're artificially inflating their numbers then they are stealing people they're stealing their money you know they're stealing you know the the people that pay to have ads put on youtube Robert Breaker and Gene Kim are stealing that money with their fake subscribers. And that's the whole thing. So, okay. So, Okay. Um, uh, Robert run now runs a building in Molinos, Florida, called New Beginnings Church, and where Food Fun Bible are written on the wall. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. Food Fun and Bible. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to guess I'm going to quit now. I'm looking at other comments there and not really seeing anything. Um, I'll do this one yet. I'm not sure why you're so obsessed with these guys, Brian. Oh, because I have nothing better to do. You know, yeah, I just, uh, or it could be that I actually care about the body of Christ and I don't want them being deceived and led astray with false gospels like Breaker and Kim teach and false doctrine like they both teach as well. Um, could be. So that's going to be it. And uh, just, Let's let's pray against these guys. They've gone on far enough, you know. Um, they're stealing. They're thieves. Um, they're liars. They're deceivers, and they need to be stopped. Um, just just pray against them and just say, Lord, just show the world what these guys are all about, and uh, keep the body of Christ away from them. Um, so. Okay. So that's going to be it, and uh, we'll see everybody. Um, the next big video to come out is uh, going to be the thing on Sunday, a pretty important study that I did over at Bible Point mm -hmm. um, here in Maine. So we will see everybody Sunday morning, and uh, thank you very much for watching.